2012 and DVDO and how well it works with Calman from SpectraCal. Today we're going to talk about what makes a good picture and how you can make money doing it. All right. So in order to talk about what makes a good picture, we need to talk about where images come from. All right. Am I getting enough audio? All right. Great. So we call that image mapping. Where do where do the pictures come from? Well, images all start with somebody that's running a camera like this. Usually they're not that good looking. All right, I've worked in a lot of studios, and if women looked like that in, in uh, broadcast studios, no one would ever quit and move on to jobs that actually make money. So then the, the images are sent out way, one way or another, two homes, two families sitting down watching movies. All right, That's how images work. So we go through a lot of iterations, we're thrown into a lot of different hoppers, lots of stuff happens with the signal before it gets to the home. So let's talk about what really matters with the image, and that is the human eye. All right. So we're going to talk about how the human eye sees pictures and how we make the pictures match what the human eye wants to see. Signals all have to fit one way or another into a map, and we call that map native resolution. I like to think of native resolution as a pegboard, like this. You'd see something like this maybe in your basement or your garage. You'd put hooks on it, you'd hang tools on it. All right. Think of this, all these holes as your pixels, all right? And in this case, this would be a native resolution of 14 pixels by 9 pixels. With panels, with projectors, that map never changes. We have to fit everything into the 14 by 9 or the 1920 by 1080 of every single display, no matter what type of a signal we're sending it, correct? All right, so in our world, We've got all these displays over here, all have the same native resolution these days. Everything that we're selling for the most part is 1920 by 1080. But then I've got 1080i instead of 1080p, 720p, 1080p from Blu-ray, and then old DVDs. Do some of your customers still watch DVDs? What's the native resolution of DVD? 480i. So I'm going from 480 interlaced to 1080 progressive, all right? That's like crossing the Grand Canyon of scaling, all right? So, what do I do when all these things don't match? Well, that's where DVDO Duo comes in. DVDO scales, it ensures that we get 1080p cleanly from all sources so that that pegboard of different holes and different pixels always gets what it wants. All right, I'm using a good expensive processing engine instead of the $9 processing engine inside of the TV, the AVR, or the Blu-ray player, all right? It's also good with connectivity. It's a great video switch. Lots of inputs, lots of outputs, including an output that I can use for just HDMI audio to send to my AVR, all right? So it simplifies things. My favorite part of the Duo, it creates margin. All right, at least $700 in additional margin for less than half of a day of work. Does that sound like something we could use once a week? It does to me. How does that work? The Duo carries $500 in margin just on the box. All right, the calibration is going to be charged anywhere from $200 to $350 and up, depending on what you're working on. All right, and then the installation and the programming, I've got $200 in labor money there with what I'm doing with the Duo and what am I doing with the system. And when the panel margin, on the other hand, if you were just selling a 70-inch Sharp, for instance, what do, you, what do you make? Probably not $700 anymore, right? So is it a good idea to look at creating a revenue stream attached to video? I have to touch the video anyway, I might as well make some money doing it, all right? The best part of our world, the calibration side, is that the Duo calibrates beautifully. So what makes a good picture? picture is in the eye of the beholder because it's all about the human eye and how it sees. So what makes a good picture with regard to what the human eye sees? Let's look at the visual hierarchy. The first thing we look for is good black and good white signal. That's where the contrast ratio comes from, that black to white transition. So I want pure black and pure white, all right? We see all detail in black and white, all right? Second, I like colors. I like lots of colors, saturated, deep, beautiful colors. I like the colors to be correct. I don't want everyone looking sunburned, all right? And then I like full detail. I bought a 1920 by 1080 TV. I'd like to see something close to that, all right? What's the roadblock? 
these displays are more capable than their controls allow them to be. All right? I can't achieve the full potential of the display with just the controls inside the display. In other words, this piece of glass will do more than the knobs and the bells and the whistles in the TV will let it do. All right? However, when I introduce Duo into the system, these controls, like Nigel Tufnell from Final Tap told us, these go to 11. All right? These will max out capability of your display in absolutely about 10 minutes of solid work with the Duo and calibration. All right? Whoops. EBDO and Calman. Calman software for calibration from SpectraCal and Duo, they talk to each other. So there's a direct communication link. It allows for an advanced calibration process, and the hard parts of that process are automated. Push a button, grayscale calibration gets finished with errors that are so low the human eye could never see them, all right? And the result is a fantastic image. You can also control the Duo manually, but there's more control and more precise granular control inside the Duo to get down to that that level of calibration that you're looking for for a great image. So why Duo and Calman? Let's let's recap this. Increase video margin by at least 3x, all right? Improve image quality dramatically. Simplify connectivity. Increase video margin by at least 3x, all right? HDMI audio. And I'm not sure if I mentioned increase video margin by at least 3x, all right? One last question. Who do we sell to at the end of the day? When we get done selling, are we selling to these guys? Or unfortunately, do we sell to these guys? All right? I'm looking for this at the end of the day. This is more profitable, right? These are the guys that say yes, say yes, and then don't want to pay anything. All right? We want to impress people with what it is that we're doing. So if you've got questions, I'll take them. Uh, if you want more assistance with the calibration side, SpectraCal is right around the corner. And we've got some cool DVDO giveaways over there. Uh, if you want to contact us, here's our information. Or you can stop by. We'll scan you. We'll help you out. This afternoon at 2 p.m. at the Marriott, if you want to know more about scaling processing, we're going to do 90 minutes. All right? So thanks for coming. Remember, 3x video margin.